Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be looking at a couple AI image generation software that you can find around. They're really cool and they are able to make an image from any text you give. So this is one of the first ones that I found and I'd been using for a while. It's called Crayon. It's free and it's been around for a long time. You give it a text, a word or something, and it will do its best to make images from that. It works really well, though you can see that they look a little strange. But that's with most AI things, or at least that's what I thought for a while. Well, this year a new app has popped up called Wonder, and it has completely blown the boundaries of what AI software can do. So let's go over to it. So this software has a couple options. It is free, but it has ads. I bought the premium version of it. it you can get a lifetime version for $30 and it'll get you lifetime access to the app. That's what I bought because I really like it and I've been using it a lot. So there's things you can do like the simple ones are just enter any text and it will make an image from that. So I'm just going to give it that and as you can see it'll make it a lot faster than crayon can. Oh I forgot to mention so crayon takes about a minute to do anything on there but it does generate a lot of images but look at this as you can see the tomatoes look really crazy and really good looking. And these are all AI generated. They've been manipulated by an AI, either using previous pictures or just created by them. It's pretty cool. So there is a lot of styles you can pick. And when you do that, that's where you can get to the pretty crazy stuff. So let's just go down a bit. There's just a lot you can do with it. Like this is a really popular one. You can have a that but this is one of the ones that i thought was pretty cool this one right here just let it generate you can add a bunch of text to it to refine what you want the engine the ai to do but it, it's pretty cool some of them are a little weird but nevertheless they're really high quality then you get pretty cool ones but it is pretty much limitless what you can ask it to draw. Like here, let's just go to a simple one. Let's make it high resolution. And let's get it to create that. You can also change the aspect ratio, which is kind of nice. But for this, I've just done the one by one. And as you can see, they look phenomenal. So let's get the aspect ratio changed to where it'll look good on the phones, which is the two by three, or you can do like a computer with three by two. So let's just do for the phones and let it create a couple images. Now these will look better because they'll be more fit to the screen, but let's just let them, let's just let it do its work. And as you can see, they look really cool. Zoom in. It, some things are a little strange, but you can also have it regenerate an image. But the forests, I've always thought, look really cool. They got that stylized look to them. But if you don't want a stylized look, let's go to hyper-realistic. And let's see what it does from this. It'll take a minute to generate because we are asking it to do a lot. But it's worth the time. And there, we got a really cool looking forest that's never existed before. But the really popular thing to do is, let's just do no style, is to take someone who's popular and generate them with this. So let's, let's get somebody popular like Elon Musk. Well, actually, I think there's already a couple of prompts down there for that. Let's see, yeah. Uh, some of them are a little bit weird, but let's try that. All 
right. I messed that up. And we'll make it high res again because that's always good looking. And let's click create. And they usually look pretty cool. So let's let's give it a chance to, to make it. The faces though are always pretty creepy. They they still need a little work on the face, but as you can see it does a pretty good job. Just not always. <laughs> Sometimes they are a little creepy, but you can just have it redo it. And let's let it do it again. I don't know what that is. Uh, I mean, it's better, but it's still pretty creepy. It just takes a couple tries, and it's pretty much endless what you can do with it. There's just so much stuff you can do with it. And there's so many presets you can select that help refine what you want from the AI. So let's see what this comes out with. The animated ones usually look the best because it's the easiest for the AI to generate. But as you can see, there is a whole lot of options, and that's just from the presets. You can just ask it anything if you don't want a preset, and it will do its best, and it'll make it look crazy. Another popular thing is to have it animate yourself, as you can see down here. You can take, I think, 10 pictures of yourself, and it will do its best to make an AI, uh, AI virtualization of you. And they do look pretty crazy was messing around with them and they look really cool all right well i think that gives you a pretty good idea of what what's going on so let's see some of them all right let's just i'm gonna click i need inspiration let's see what that does it's really high res so it'll take it a second Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Yeah, as you can see, they look really, really cool. Also, I forgot to mention this. So you can download the images either with the little watermark on the right or not and in high resolution, which is really cool. And they look really, really good. All right. So I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys have any questions about the app. Uh, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them, but it's just really really cool to mess around with and I've had a lot of fun doing it All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If so, please like and subscribe and I'll definitely make more like it This will be my first video of 2023. So Yeah, hopes we have a good year. Hope you guys had a good last year, too I'll see you guys all later until next time. Goodbye